Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Thought I'd do a little more straight edge and compass construction. And I think in this video, we're going to take a look at the nine point circle. So, a nine point circle is something you get with any triangle. So, we're going to name triangle ABC. We're even going to give it, um, we'll make it an, a pink triangle. It's feeling like a pink day. All right. So, here's our triangle. And as usual, I'll move it around at the end to show that. Uh, these things all do, it, it, uh, doesn't, it's not unique to the triangle I created. These things all do intersect and lie on the same circle and all that fun stuff, no matter what triangle we're looking at. Okay, so what do we need for the nine-point circle? Well, the nine-point circle uh, has um, the midpoint of each side of the triangle lies on this circle. The foot of each uh, altitude so the, the place where the altitude from, say, C intersects a b so that's uh, the, the foot or, or the, the very base of that altitude and the uh, the midpoints of um, the the last one's a little hard to describe but once you get the altitudes the altitudes all intersect at uh, the point called the orthocenter the midpoint between uh, the orthocenter and each of the vertices so that gives you three more so we get uh, three for the midpoints of the sides, three for the, the feet or the foots of the altitude, and three for the midpoints from the orthocenter to the vertices. These nine points all lie on the same circle, called the nine-point circle, because we got nine points. All right, so what are we going to do? Well, let's uh, get cracking. Uh, midpoints of the sides is probably the easiest thing to, to get first. So we'll distinguish those points. And that's quite quick to do. Now I want to keep track of these, uh, the points that I'm going to include. So I'm going to give them a different color, which is not something I usually do. Uh, what's a good color? How about, does the red stand out? Yeah, the red stands out enough, certainly. All right, so uh, let's keep going. Midpoint of BC. There we go. I'll make them all red at the, or I'll make uh, them red after each stage, so I won't have to keep back uh, going back and forth. Now we need the midpoint of uh, AB. Uh, here we go. Midpoint of BC and midpoint of A. Okay, and now we can get rid of our extra work. So these three points are enough because they all have to lie on the same uh, circle. And there's only one circle that goes through them all. These three points are enough to figure out uh, the end center, or the nine-point center, as uh, it's usually called. But I've seen some people abbreviate it to the end center, usually if you're referring to the orth ortho center as the O center. But it kind of breaks down. You don't want the C center and the I center, but you know, it depends on what textbooks you're reading and what mathematicians you're talking to. But uh, the, the nine-point center is a bit of a mouthful, so sometimes it gets abbreviated. All right, so these are enough to figure it out because there's only one circle these guys are going to lie on. But uh, let's get the other points first, shall we? Okay. So what do we need? Well... To get the remaining two, we do need to do uh, altitudes, so heights of the triangle, because we need the heights or, or altitudes to intersect to find the orthocenter in order to do midpoints from orthocenter to vertices. So let us get, and we have to extend our lines a little bit, because it's not always guaranteed that uh, the altitudes will land inside, like the altitude from A might not necessarily land in BC. For example, if A is over here, the altitude is going to be outside of BC. So we got to extend our lines, and that's okay. Um, what do we do? Oh, uh, yeah. So we're going to go from A 
to B, and that gives us a point over here. And then these two points, and then the line perpendicular between them. And that gives us an altitude right there. But notice if I move A over, the altitude does indeed lie outside. Okay. So we've got an altitude. We're going to need uh, the other two. So let's hide our other work. I still need those uh, lines extended as we have them. Okay, so um, altitude from B to AC, I guess. So connect B, uh, not connect, but create a circle centered at B going to any of the points on, on, the, cir on the line uh, AC. I use one of the other vertices just to make sure I've got it right. So that's one point. We use the uh, other point, other intersection point between AC and that circle we drew. And then we perpendicularly bisect. It ensures that it's going to, the line we get is perpendicular to uh, AC. And thanks to some circle results, which I'm not going to dwell on, uh, it runs through B as well. So there, we have the altitude going uh, through B, and it's uh, on AC, the extended line AC. Oops. Let's delete that point. Oh, I accidentally deleted my line. No worries. All right, now let's get to hiding some things. Just so our picture is a little clearer. So we have ex our extended lines and we have uh, two altitudes here. Oop, and this naughty little point hiding around. There we go. All right, so now we need the altitude coming from C and hitting AB. Same procedure as the other two. I like adding in both points, but of course you only need one because you know it's going to have to run through C. So you use one of these intersection points and C. I like doing it with both. Just stylistic. Yeah, it makes me add an extra point, but uh, I do enjoy that it just happens. It makes me double check that, yes, I've made sure I've done the right thing because it is running through C like I need it to. All right, and you can see there we've got the uh, ortho center. So we're going to need uh, the ortho center here. And we're also going to need these intersection points, the feet of the foot of each altitude. So these, uh, these six points all lie on the same circle. It's not given by the ortho center though. But we're going to need the ortho center because now it's midpoint between the ortho center and each of these vertices. Well, we've done midpoint stuff already in this video, so we know what we're doing. Going to have to zoom in a little bit. Just make sure this point goes where he's supposed to. So now we've got the midpoint from the ortho center. A. And we'll do the same thing to ortho center and B. So midpoint uh, from ortho center to B, and now ortho center. To C. And you can clear things up or erase things if you're doing it pencil and paper as you go, but uh, just to make things a little clearer, I probably should have cleared some of this stuff off in between, but we've got it now. Midpoint there, midpoint there, and midpoint there. So now we can get rid of 
all these extra circles, all these altitudes, all these extra points. All of it can go. And we will have the nine points that belong on our nine point circle. And we'll zoom out a bit because I tend to forget about the points that are off screen. Nope, there are none. And let's get rid of that ortho center right there in the middle. Okay. So we've got our nine points. Here they move about. And they can even be off and away from. But you can sort of see as I move them around, you can already see they're, they're, uh, they're lying on a circle. It just remains for us to draw that circle. Okay, so we want to draw them. Just take any of the points, uh, any any uh, any set of points, and we're just going to get perpendicular bisector between the uh, the perpendicular bisectors between them. Because any two of these uh, points gives us a chord. And so perpendicularly bisecting a chord gives us a line going through the center. And I don't know, we'll take uh, these two down here. So the intersection of two lines heading through the center have got to intersect at the center because... We know they both run through the center, and lines can only intersect in one place at a time. So here is the end center, or nine-point center. Uh, I'll give that a color. We'll make it the deep purple. And we'll get rid of all this other stuff. You'll notice as I was uh, picking points to do the chords, it didn't really matter to me. Am I choosing uh, the foot of an altitude? Am I choosing... One of the midpoints, I just picked some points at random. They didn't even have to be adjacent. And now as we move things around, the deep purple, you can see, is staying in the middle there. We can even use our, our compass tool, center to any of these points. They all lie on the same circle. Even though not all the points lie on or in the triangle, here we have the uh, nine-point circle. And we can make them pretty big, actually, as we get more degenerate. But I think that's nifty. I don't know a whole lot of uses on like math contests or anything for the nine-point circle. But it's, it's just a really cool construction, I think. And it's, it's a lot of points on the, uh, the circle that are quite related. There are other nice circle relations out there as well, like uh, the nine-point center and the ortho center, and uh, uh, I think the centroid and circumcenter all lie on the same line, and maybe the inner in center's on there for uh, two. I'd have to. Uh... No, no, the in center in center's not on there, but uh, they do all lie on a line, which is pretty nifty because that's uh, what ortho center, nine-point center, circumcenter, centroid. That's that's four that are on a line. You wouldn't expect that. But uh, those are nice properties of triangles, and this is a nice circle that comes from a triangle. So, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the nine-point uh, nine point circle, and you can now draw your own. So, have yourself a wonderful day, and thanks for watching.